Hello traders, today I'm going to develop a video for this comment. He is requesting to make a digit differ and match bot and where the bot takes differ contract first and it price increases at as it means that means compounding and the cycle repeats if Ola wins that means he want a uh, compounding reset levels because he mentioned the cycle here but if it lose it switch to match contract and after winning the bot switch again to process one that means first red digit differs by increasing stakes if it loss then the uh, trade direction to digit match and if after the digit match contract win the bot will go back to digit differ trades so now i will create this video because we have several things to learn uh, first one is how to do compounding compounding means increasing the stake when it wins uh, the second one is how to set compounding stop level that means uh, increasing the stake from trade to trade and after let's say five trades the bot will stop increasing the stake and coming back to initial stake i will show how to do that and uh, third one is in this video i will show how to switch trade direction based on a logic it says uh, you need to change the trade from digit defer to digit match so i will show how to do that and next one is how to change the taking pattern based on the trade direction that means uh, when we are winning we want to increase but after lost we want to keep a constant stake for the digit match if after we need we need to go back to normal staking method so you will learn these four things in this video i will do next video on this comment it is uh, asking is it possible to create a bot to enter trade exactly at the beginning of handle one minute so i will show how to do this in my next video but today i will show how to develop a bot for this comment so i will go to deriveoptions.com you can find the link in the video description so from here if you don't have an account you can open a account in derive platform so since i'm having a derive account i'm going to the bot or derive binary bot i'm not developing bots now in binary.com bot platform because uh, binary.com is rebranding as derive so if you don't have a derive account you can open so i'm going to the bot platform Uh, we can create bots in here dbot and also in binary bot here so uh, developing bots in binary bot is very easy so i'm going to that platform first i will reset this bot now i'm changing the marker to synthetic indices now change type to digits Digit match and if I want both, so I will keep it like that. So we want to change the staking pattern. So first I will create a variable. I'll go to advanced variable and create variable for stake. If you want to change something, you want to create a variable for that. First I will set the stake to one. Then I will take this variable stake and connect it here to the USD stake. Now what I want to do is I want to increase the stake when winning. So what I do is logic and I go take this if code block and connect it to this fourth code block. We don't want this third code block because we don't any contract here 
I'm clicking binary after purchase and taking this result is in. If result is in, what I want to do is set save to. I can do several things uh, for increasing this tag here. We haven't uh, mentioned the what way he want to how to in increase this tag. That means the uh, logic behind increasing this tag because we can multiply by a number or else we can add the profit from the last trade the trade so he haven't mentioned uh, what exactly he wants so what i will show is i will show uh, two types how can we do that first we can do that stake to stake multiplied by i will give two. if this is in the stake will multiply by two then if we lost we will come back to initial step so for that i will set one here. so let's see this bot is working here it's taking digit match trades i will change it to digit differs It lost since it lost again he will place hotel place one dollar trade because we have set one here it won if one we have set the logic to multiply this step by two so it multiplied by two now it should be four dollars yes it's working the other way i said you is we can set uh, here the our profit is 0 0.09 so we can set our next stake to this one dollar plus 0 0.09 so how we can do that is uh, click on after purchase go to contract detail and connect here so from this statement we can change to pay up now let's see how what is increasing the stake means how about this compounding what took the first trade okay next trade what should trade 1.09 this stake plus the uh, profit what should trade take the trade by uh, adding 0 0.09 and 0 0.1 so likewise but is adding the profit percentage from the next trade there are two ways as i shown you so i'll keep it like this now so our next requirement is uh, we want to create a cycle for that so i said uh, if we add the stake for five times like this again go back to initial stake that means first trade is one dollar then 0 1.09 1.19 1.3 .1 .1 this is four trades and next trade will be adding this 1.42 after that if it wins after that go back to one dollar so i will show how to do that i'll create a variable to count means so i'm creating a variable deal count then if result is in change bin count by one if result is lost then set bin count to zero okay now we want to do this now we, what we want to do is I'm taking if this bin count equal five. That means if bot one that means if bot wins five times consecutively, we want 
set step to initial step of initial step is one and we want to set this win count to zero also so i will duplicate it and connect it here otherwise what you want to do you want to set it step to contact detail payout okay let's see whether this is working I will reset this. Okay, compounding work well. Now, next page should be again one minute. Yes, correct. It works like a cycle now. So what we want to do next is if it lose, it switch to match contract. Okay. If result is loose, that means inside this, we want to change the data. So what I will do is, I'll take logic code block and connect it here. I'll create new variable to set trade type. If red type set red type to work, let's set it match. Logic. We want to develop this logic inside the second code block to change the red direction. If I want to do it this red type. If trade type equal match, which is matches, else, which is differs. Next, what we want to do is, if result is new, we want to set the trade type to because here we have to do another thing uh, it's because uh, when digit match trade beans and it comes here we want to uh, reset our bot so what i'm doing is i'm going to logic and connect this if code block here if i want to take the contract detail and our contract type if our contract type is equal to match i will type digit match here if our contract type equal digit match we want to set our stake to one and we want to set win count to zero else you want the power strip to change by contract type payout. Now let's run and see what's happening with the word. Initially it's taking digit default rates. We can see our compounding strategy is working fine. Okay, we got one losing trade, so what will change the 
data digit, digit match stage and this will continue until one digit match stage will be if you want to change the one dollar place in here in digit match trades you can edit it by changing here we have set this take to one uh, if you want to change this digit match one dollar trades you want to change this place okay we got one digit match within trade so the bot should change the trade type to digit differs. Yes, digit differs starting from one dollar, and again it should continue in compounding. Yeah, you can see this bot is working fine. Uh, those are the things we have to learn in this video tutorial. So I think uh, the requested strategy in this comment is completed. So by next time for the next video i will show how to create a bot to enter trades exactly at the beginning of a one minute candle so if you have questions like this you can comment like this or you can go to the options website and contact us page and can request a help of a minor bot developer for your queries Thank you very much for watching this video. So let's meet on next video.